Hi everyone, this is Meek from the Knitting by Meek on Loom and other crafts channel and today I wanted to show you a few things when you just start knitting and you are going to begin with the e-wrap. Most of the people start with e-wrap and I discovered that most of the time they discover or encounter a few things and I will try to explain in this video what you can and will encounter and what you can do about it. There are a few things you have to know about the e-wrap and it will help you to get a beautiful project. You can e-wrap e on a round loom and e-wrap is a twisted stitch. So you have to take notice that when you knit the stitch you will knit it into the same direction either clock or counterclockwise and this is why when you see this you see that the e-wrap is a twisted stitch and one leg of the stitch is bigger and when you're knitting in a round most of the times you knit into the same direction and you want to have the stitch into the same direction so when you will knit this one row the stitch another way you will find that there is a um, yeah a zigzag this is a uh, e-wrap when you knit it in a flat panel and as you can see the stitch zigzags a bit so this is the leg of the stitch and in the other row the, the leg will appear on another side so this is on the right and this is on the left so when you do one row when you're knitting counter clockwise and you do one row clockwise you will immediately see that there are four knit stitches in looming you have e-wrap that's the biggest one the, um, and the only one that's twisted you have true knit you wrap and flat knit and every stitch has its own tension and when you're knitting e-wrap as a flat panel you will notice that the one row the odd row um, you will knit it counterclockwise for example so the stitch will appear here and when the even rows the leg of the stitch will appear over here so that's normal so when you knit it as a flat panel it always will have this effect at first you are going to decide or find out which direction shoots you the best when you are holding the knitting tool in your right hand most of the times clockwise is the easiest way you are working counterclockwise your hand will be before your backs and it's more difficult to knit the stitches find out which direction shoots you the best or the most when you have a loom with an anchor peg you can decide to start that of a, to use that as a starting point you make a beautiful slip knot and put it on. When you don't have a loom with an anchor peg you can either use a piece of scrap yarn or a marker. I will show you um, why I am doing the e-wrap one by one and also I'm going to show you that I'm doing the cast on one by one and it's all about the tension most of the people wrap the whole room secure the last one and knit over and then knit the rest of the stitches and then find out I've got a ladder okay then I'll do a, a pair a few stitches and then you find out that you have gaps in the hat or the project that you're working on. When you do the stitches one by one, 
you get a regular knitwork and all the stitches will have the same tension. When you're wrapping the whole loom, loom, you find out that your last stitches are either too tight or too loose. You think that wrapping the whole loom is more quick, but that's only true when you are used to it. Every stitch on a round loom is being done one by one already, so you get already used to that. And you'll discover that it's easier to do, uh, to do them one by one, and you get more beautiful stitches. When you get used to e-wrap one by one, you will be as quick and maybe even more quicker than by wrapping them all the way around. The advantages are that you immediately get the right tension, tension so your project looks beautiful. And of course there are ways or of solving eh, that you can wrap them all the way around. And there will be tons of advice, but just find out what shoots you the best. The, the best. There is no one way of knitting. There are always other ways. And you will find out after making a few yards in knitting. You also have to find a way of holding your yarn. With every project, you are going to notice that every yarn or loom needs another tension and you will find out um, while you are making a couple of yards um, because that's the only way you learn how to knit making yards I always say and write down which way you are, you are going to do the e-wrap on a round loom so next time you start knitting because you had to take the phone or something you know which way you were going to go you were you were knitting I'll show you how I am doing it but that's not the way find a way of doing the stitch that shoots you you will discover while making those knitting yards that with every stitch on the loom there are a few ways of doing or knitting it and my way might not be your way. Just watch more than one video because every YouTuber has his or her own way of knitting. And because e-wrap is such a big and loose stitch, my advice always is make a little swatch. In this example, I was using this material, this yarn, and that is for uh, needle number four. I started making a swatch and as you can see this is done with one strand. It's kinda loopy. This is done with two strands. It's less loopier. This is done with three. And here you have four. So you cast on with one, knit 10 rows and use 10 stitches. Then, of, um, yeah, use 10 stitches. Then adjust the second strand and knit 10 rows. Everybody knits different and everybody will need um, another amount of strands. It's just because people knit either tight or loose. And with every yarn you need another amount of strands or you just have found much yarn that's suitable for the loom and that's around needle 7 to 8 and 9. You can even try a third strand. Just cast off the swatch and look at it and feel what it is doing. So you put it between your fingers and just feel and then decide what is right for your project. And advice, always take your swatch off the loom because the loom stretches your work and then you won't see the effect of the stitch the right way. 
A neat stitch always curls and when you need it has a flat panel and that is because of the structure of the stitch. You can solve that sometimes with a slip stitch or you make a kind of brim with a purl stitch in it. So, you start the cast on and there are bunches of casts on and um, the easiest one to start with is double, the double E-wrap cast on. So, you just pull or wrap your working yarn around the back twice and you get the bottom loop and you put it over your second loop. And also done one by one it's better for the tension. It will look more regular the stitch. And just pull a bit Wrap, wrap, and just pull. And when it's too loose, you can adjust it afterwards. Not too loose or not, and not too tight because you have to knit the row. So as you can see, I'm working clockwise because that's the easiest way for me to knit a stitch and you see it's because of the tension of the cast on it's more difficult to put pull the stitch over but that doesn't matter because and just play yeah play with your yarn Look what your project needs the, in the most easiest way to pull the stitch over. And you have to feel what the yarn is doing. And there are yarns that are more tight and don't have any stretch when you pull at it. So you just have to discover yourself what does your project needs at that moment. So just wrap around, pull over your stitch, wrap around, pull over your stitch. And this is my starting point so I know now I'm going to do the second row. Just pull around, wrap around, wrap, knit over, wrap, knit over and try to have the same tension every stitch you're doing. And you can guide the yarn with your hands. There are products on the market that will help you guide but I've used that and yeah it can work but you have to try just find out what is the best for you. Okay, I hope with this information you can get started and that you know when you see it off the loom you know what is happening and what you can do about it to get it even more better. Okay, hope to see you next time and have fun trying out and knitting. Bye bye.